Clint Eastwood and the custard cream. The moon was way up high, halfway across the black sky, and there was only one custard cream left. There were no more biscuity supplies, so the last three men standing all had their eyes on that prize. At sundown there had been seven cowboys, not biscuits. The minty chocolatey wafers had all gone by just one minute past eight. The nice were in the bin. You don't make something that's not nice, nice by calling it nice. Every cowboy around here was far too wise for the not so nice, nice. Wagon Wheel Willie was the first to get whacked. Up with his time, the price for taking a jammy dodger out of line. Next was Shortcake Sam. He was short and crusty, but not short and crusty enough to escape the bullet of Bourbon Bill. Bourbon Bill couldn't shoot straight anymore though. See, Bourbon Bill had dunked too many Bourbons in Bourbon. He was aiming for Gary Baldy when he took out Shortcake Sam and Sheriff Shortbread shot Bourbon Bill for shooting Sh Shortcake Sam. Kit Kat Killer Cowgirl Kate had choked on her own chocolate finger. Nobody had even bothered attempting the Heimlich manoeuvre. She'd gone down hard on Hob Nob Bob. And that done did for Hob Nob Bob. He never could hold himself together under pressure. So now there was just three, Sheriff Shortbread, Gary Baldy and me. Our hands were cold and clammy, our beards long and crummy. Our trigger fingers were itchy, our nerves twitchy. The silence was broken by a faint crack. The sound made when a rich tea biscuit snaps. And two shots rang out under that black sky. Sheriff Shortbread shot Gary Baldy and Gary Baldy shot Sheriff Shortbread, leaving only me still standing, which was a sad, sad shame. See, cause I was never that keen on the custard cream.